Well, I do apologize for the terrible, lazy, short video today, but I had something important that I really did need to talk about before it's too late, and that's a reminder, really, of the legendary competition that I'm currently hosting and has been trundling away in the background the past couple of months. So the point of this video is not to do a big song and dance about things uh, and get everybody overly hyped about it. I think I've talked about the competition enough at this point. But it is important you all uh, recognize that the deadline could be coming up quicker than you'd expect. So it's totally out of the loop. I'm doing a competition at the moment. It's called the Get POF Competition, which was a placeholder name and then kind of just ended up getting used. Uh, but it's a competition about making videos on YouTube about any kind of uh, format you like, but that generally involve the prospect of growing the Guild Wars 2 scene. Uh, it's a competition to try and get videos out there, to get word of mouth advertising out there, to get interesting projects out there that hopefully will uh, do something favorably for this community, for this game, for this product. It's something that I care a lot about and I thought uh, it would be fun to do a competition to incentivize people to do some fun stuff. So why you watching me, a dear viewer, after Path of Fire has now come out, uh, why you might care about this is because of the prizes. Uh, the first place prize for this competition, and we really went all out on this, was uh, every single legendary in the game. It's worth about 50,000 gold at the moment. The prices have remained fairly steady through the expansion release, actually. Uh, I believe it was just under 50,000 on the last video I did, and now it's 50k. Uh, second place is all the black line contracts in the game. Third place is all of the precursors. And then fourth, fifth, and so on and so on and so on. You get the picture. Uh, on top of that as well, we're giving away 31,000 gems to at least the top 25 people. So at least 25 people who enter this will be able to win and have prize waiting for them as long as people actually enter. Now, why I'm talking about this today is the date's currently November 7th, right? And that's just as the Halloween festival, I believe anyway, is leaving Guild Wars 2. So, uh, things have been pretty silent over on the POF side of things for a little while, especially for those of us not too interested in the Halloween festival itself, because maybe we're old players and we got in there and experienced it quite quickly. But what this uh, period of silence is potentially a sign of is the fact we could be having some big releases coming up. Uh, Guild Wars 2, if you guys just joined with POF, you might not realize, but they actually push stuff quite quickly. It'll be a release, and then two months, and a release, and then two months, and then a release. And right now, we're kind of on the cusp of that next thing. So there's Balance First, okay, which I believe will be coming later today after I've finished producing this video. Uh, and then Raids are going to be on the table. Fra a new Fractal, potentially, is going to be on the table. Uh, and the big one, Living World. Why Living World is important is because the moment that that patch goes live, that is the moment that submitting entries for the contest ceases. Your deadline is the moment Season 4 launches, and that's always been the case, but you guys may have forgotten about that. That's when uh, your chance to win all these prizes goes away, right when Season 4 begins. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, also, that's fine. Uh, we haven't even heard about Season 4 just yet. But if we look at Season 3 from the devs, you'll notice ArenaNet would quite often announce an episode and then release it in seven days. So you don't get a very big window. Like, for a lot of us, if you're not following Guild Wars 2 extremely closely, you might miss the announcement for the first day or two, and then by the time you hear that another episode is releasing, it could be like five days left or four days left, and then if you're banking all of that on also having your competition uh, hitting that deadline, your entry might fall to the side. So be very cautious. Now is basically the best time to start looking if you uh, saw my video on that a while ago and thought maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. Now's kind of your last really good opportunity to have a lot of time to be creative and do whatever and not be caught unawares. So, uh, so yeah, I wanted to let you guys know about that. It's kind of the perfect time for some other reasons as well. Um, you might be running out of stuff to do in-game and, you know, that'll be a fun project to play around with. You have the luxury of getting access to all the content and getting footage from all the content. You have the luxury of hindsight of what actually happened with Path of Fire and secret stuff like the Griffin. Um, and of course, yeah, the big, the big one that the deadline might be sooner than you think. So that's it, guys. It's just a reminder, literally. I'm still getting the Flame Seeker Prophecies lore and stuff ready for the next video on my end, and hopefully you'll see that very, very soon. You can check out links in the description for more 
more than enough discussion on this competition and how to submit uh, all of that from a couple of months back if you guys missed it. And uh, we've had a lot of entries already, by the way. I, I don't want to, you know, dismiss anybody who's already done their entry. Um, some of the existing entries are already really good. I just kind of can't talk about it publicly because I don't want to tip my hat on who I like and who I don't like. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. I want as many people as possible to join. Uh, and I think that should be fun until I have to deal with the... The, the realization that this task of judging them is going to be a terrible, terrible thing to deal with. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you want to talk about your entries and stuff in the comments, please do, because I haven't seen enough discussion about that on the community's end. And here's to hoping for some exciting weeks coming up. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.